Hi, I'm Mr. Williamson, and this is Taxonomy Prep Quiz Number One. There are six specimens we'll be looking at with 15 questions. You probably should have a piece of paper, any scrap will do, something to write with, so you can write your answer down, and then we'll go over them and see how you did. Are you ready? Here we go. You'll have 30 seconds to answer each of the questions. Um, you can always pause the video if you want. Uh, in the test, you'll have between 40 and 45, but uh, right now you have 30. There's a next specimen, next three questions. Next question, next two questions, next specimen, next two questions. Next specimen, next three questions. Next specimen, two questions. Next specimen, three questions, and the last ones. Okay, let's see how you did. This is a uh, Kingdom Monera. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Well, that's exciting what happened here. Ah, okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, these are prokaryotic. Pro thing of pre. These are organisms that have no uh, you know, membrane bound organelles. They have no. Uh, Nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum, uh, Golgi bodies, anything like that. They're basically a, a, a capsule with um, cytoplasm, ribosomes, and uh, uh, nucleic material or, or nuclear material like DNA in it, or sometimes it's RNA. Next question, uh, are they uh, colonial or unicellular? And in this case, they're both. So, or they can be found in both. They're not always, but they can be found in both. So, real quickly, take a look at... The difference here, um, the uh, you know, like this is this is a prokaryote. Like I said, I think of it as prekaryotic, so it's like before cells became organized. Um, and you can see they they both have ribosomes. Um, they both have a, a nuclear material, which should be found in this case in the the nucleus over here. Um, they have a cytosol in this regular cell and cytoplasm there. And for the most part, that's pretty much the 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 similarities. All the rest of these are, are, are membrane-bound organelles, the lysosome, the Golgi complex, uh, the, the endoplasmic reticulum, things like that. Those are all 
uh, membrane bound, adv more advanced than they are for uh, the, the other bank cells. Um, next specimen was, was fungi, and um, it asks, what form is it found in? And it's fungus, they're, they're usually a fungus, but they're found with protostages. Um, the protostages basically are reproductive stages that uh, they, they kind of gather together. And, and this actually, this is a picture of, of the fungal stages, um, but then it, that, that they form. Um, they are saprobes, meaning that they live off of, of decaying material. Like they're usually found on decaying wood or uh, places like that. And the common name is slime mold. Okay, Myxomycota. Fungi, fun, can division, sorry, kingdom fungi, uh, division, mix of mycota. So, uh, jellyfish, which falls into the, the uh, Nideria. Um, the Nideriaans are, are, uh, are very simple organisms. They have no real nervous system or anything like that. They are radial symmetry, and radial symmetry is basically means that they, they're, They've, no matter which way you cut them, they are all going to be always the same. Think of it like a radial tire. Not that you know what a radial tire is, but your parents probably do. Um, but radial, radial tire, and how many layers? They have two cell layers. So, um, the Nidaria or jellyfish. The clam is a division, um, is, is, is a kingdom animalia, and these are mollusks. Or mollusca, phylum mollusca, um, which says right there. And the class is Plesipodia, and Plesi means axe. They're axe because the foot that comes out of a clam, if you see a clam, um, when they're digging in the, in the, 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 digging in the sand and stuff, they, they sometimes have a long foot that comes out like an axe, and, and it uh, digs to the sand. And how many shells do they have? Well, if you look at it, you look at a clam, then you can see, you know, it's like one, two. They have two shells. So, uh, the leech is a um, analidia, and they are um, analida. Sorry, they are. Uh, well, that was exciting. Okay, um, let's try that again. Whoa, my bad, my bad. Sorry about that. Um, try that again. Um, they have a, a one-way digestive system. In other words, they take their uh, their victim's blood, their their parasites, and they they eat it here, and it goes through a digestive system, and eventually it would come out the anus. Any waste product would come out the anus, and they are because they are leeches. They are in this case, it's aquatic. If we were talking about earthworms, um, we would probably be talking about terrestrial. And if we're talking about some of the marine lands, marine worms, we would also be talking about um, uh, uh, aquatic also. The roundworm, or as it says, uh, the phylum nematoda. Um, and, and basically, these, these over here are parasitic. Uh, they have bilateral symmetry. Remember, bilateral symmetry means that you can divide it only one way and get the same thing on both sides. And that's the only way it's kind of like us. You can only divide them straight up the middle, one way, two, bilateral symmetry. Um, and what's the mate feed, uh, feeding method? It's a one-way digestive system, very similar to the, the leech and us and everything, but they, they eat over here in the mouth, and the anus is there, and this is the, the male. Um, and this is the female, and the mouth is here. And the, and the anus is over here, and um, but they have a one-way one-way digestive system, and that's it. Hopefully, you did pretty well. If not, go back to your study guide and take a look at some of those, and um, take a look at the rest of the some of the other uh, quizzes.